base one up. So I guess from the thumbnail, I've got some explaining to do. Come on, let's go for a ride. All right, so be honest. How many of y'all did I get with that clickbait title? <laughs> so there actually is some truth to that. It wasn't full clickbait. I have been YouTubing for about three and a half years now. Here lately, I've been feeling kind of burned out on it because I've been doing it for so long. So what had happened was I quit YouTubing for about a week or so. And I just kind of used like some old content that I had saved up that I haven't used yet. And stopped for about a week. Okay, so then my fork seals started leaking on my, my, uh, my forks on my bike. So that explains why the bike was tore all to pieces in the picture in the beginning of the video. Um, so I ended up getting the fork seals rebuilt on the bike. So pretty much I stopped YouTubing as far as like social media goes. And then on top of that, not only did I quit YouTubing, I actually stopped riding bikes as well. Like what? I've been riding street bikes for over eight years now, pretty much consistently every single day. As y'all know, I've got 80,000 miles on my bike, a little over 80,000 miles. So I ride a lot. So that was a that was a huge hit for me, man. I was like, I quit YouTube, and then I also quit riding street bikes, but temporarily because my bike was getting worked on. And I was just like, man, what do I do with myself? Like, I am so bored. What is there to do outside of bike life? <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i stopped riding and i was like man this is terrible man like i don't even know what to do now i've been doing this for so long that i just didn't even feel like myself like anymore like just go to work come home watch some tv and then go to work again i was like man this ain't cutting it for me something something's got to change and then a few more days went on and i was like man Finally, I got some good news. My forks are ready. I just got to go pick them up. Find time to pick them up, actually. And then, uh, you know, I got bored one afternoon. I decided to turn on the old YouTube again. And uh, I decided to look at some of my other footage as well that I haven't posted yet. And uh, it was actually the, the video that I just recently posted about the me versus the BMW. <laughs> Not much of a battle, but it was kind of a fun video. And uh, I sat there and I clicked the play button on it and I started watching it. And I was laying back in my couch, you know, reclined back. And then it didn't take but like maybe 30 seconds later and I found myself on the edge of my seat on my couch, like hunkered forward, really involved in my video, smiling from ear to ear, remembering how good of a time that was hanging out with the guys, riding street bikes, doing what I love, what I've always done my whole life. You know, I mean, I've even rode street, uh, dirt bikes since I was like four years old. So like, this is my whole world right here. I love the motorsports industry of riding motorcycles on two wheels, you know, preferably on one. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah, I, I was just like, just in so much enjoyment, like watching my own content. And I was like, dude, I've already seen this video. Uh, some of these videos like at least a hundred times before I even post it to make sure it's you know uh, post worthy for you guys because I want to make sure I uh, uh, always put the best high-end content for you guys to entertain you as, as best as I can because I don't want to bore y'all with uh, a bunch of boring videos I want to make sure it's truly entertaining and y'all enjoy it and I got to thinking I was like well, man if I'm enjoying my own content this much I couldn't imagine how much some of y'all really enjoy watching my videos so I was like, man, and uh, I was like, I, I just can't let the fans down. Like the people that really love watching my videos, I can't let you guys down. Y'all are the, y'all is, uh, y'all are the ones that created this, helped create this channel for me and uh, help it grow it to what it is now, you know, and I'm so close to reaching the YouTube partnership program. And uh, I was like, man, I don't want to quit now. I want to actually get paid for doing something I truly love uh, at some point. And I am so close to being, uh, to getting paid and I, I don't want to quit now i just felt like that was a huge failure and i just didn't want to quit um another thing is another huge thing is whether if i keep doing youtube or not the bike life is going to continue with or without the filming of the videos i mean it's just as simple as that i'm not going to quit riding street bikes ever no matter what so um with that being said, I plan on getting a brand new street bike very, very soon. 
Um, I'm just trying to organize some things right now. Uh, I just moved into my new house. Everything's been uh, kind of chaotic here lately, getting things organized the way I like it. Getting things structured, building out the garage, the Chase One Up garage, as y'all know. Y'all have seen it a few times. I haven't really showed it that much. But anyways, I'm about to the point where I'm situated enough to where I'm ready to buy a new motorcycle. The last thing I want to do is let y'all follow me for the three three and a half years i've been doing this and then all of a sudden quit youtube and then all the in more interesting things happen after i quit youtube and i get a new bike and i do a build series and start decking it out and stuff like that and y'all don't get to be along for the journey i was like man that that's that just doesn't seem fair you know that, that's kind of a bummer because i've been telling you guys that i've been trying to get a new bike and now all of a sudden i'm not going to show you i was like that that just don't feel right i'm i I have so much fun doing these videos, seeing the end results to these videos that I make, and hanging out with all my friends, uh, going and seeing these beautiful look-off sceneries, and just, you know, exploring the world, having a good time with the guys, riding my street bike. It's just, there's nothing like it. Uh, this is the, the greatest thing I've ever become a part of, and I don't want to quit it anytime soon. So I was like, you know what? If I'm already doing this stuff and I'm not going to quit, I might as well go ahead and strap a camera to me and just con continuously document my life and um, how things change and evolve and and all, what all I learn. And hopefully I can give y'all some information and some techniques and stuff along the way to help you guys out. And if not, hopefully my content's entertaining enough for y'all to want to keep watching. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of explaining uh, the so-called clickbait title for this video uh i've been down for a little bit but i'm back i plan on making a lot more content and then hopefully like i said um i'm gonna be getting a new bike sometime soon and uh, if so you better believe i'm gonna be documenting every single part of that bike from like unboxing it out of the freight to doing build series tuning it uh, putting a lot of cosmetic treatments on it making it look super super sweet Hopefully that's going to be very soon in the future for me. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and let y'all know I really do appreciate all the love and support. You know, when y'all write down comments saying like, "Oh man, I enjoy your content. I love watching it. Uh, keep up the good work. Keep up the good work, bro." Like that is so awesome, man. I like seeing that kind of stuff, and I like it even more when y'all ask me questions and I'm able to help y'all out and uh, try to answer your question to the best of my ability. Um, I think it's so cool being able to create a community like this where we get out there and talk to people that we may never see, but we we still got that outreach where we can talk to people uh, without you know knowing each other and you could be like halfway across the world and somehow we get to communicate I think that's pretty cool um, it's a very unique experience uh, but yeah I just wanted to thank y'all very much for uh, all y'all support and uh, can't wait to start busting out some more content now that we're getting into summer and uh, I will see y'all on the next one how's that sound oh.